My name is Amanda Hardigan and I'm one of the kindergarten teachers here at Chadwick. Remember yesterday in our workbooks where there was a picture of some dolls having a party. Zane, what was the problem with that party? That there, that there were not enough spoons. <gasps> there weren't enough spoons? What else, Andrew? And there's enough of apples. <gasps> there weren't enough apples. Lana, what else? There weren't enough chairs. There weren't enough chairs. Oh man, there weren't enough of like everything, right? This lesson is part of the Math and Focus program. Our math program starts off with big thinking about small numbers. What if I said everybody needs a pair of scissors? Go. Uh, we have just one scissor. Oh, what, what about over here? Do you guys have enough? Um, yeah. Oh, how many scissors do you have? One. No, how many scissors do you have total? Three. Three, and then? Oh, so do you have more? Do you have more scissors or more kids? Diego, do you have more scissors or more kids? More scissors, huh? Does anybody have fewer scissors than kids? Ah, oh, Sienna, tell me about it. What do you have? We only have two scissors. <laughs> so do you have fewer scissors than kids? Uh, how many fewer? Two. Two. How do you know that it's two fewer? Because we have two, but they don't have two. Oh, so. And there are two people who don't have scissors? Hmm, what about you guys? How'd you do? We have three. You have three. Do you have any extra scissors? No. Oh, okay. All right, put the scissors back. You ready? Next thing. Yesterday, they had a workbook page, and I, I referenced it uh, when we were talking, that had a picture of like what was supposed to be a party, and there were objects that were missing, like there weren't enough sandwiches, there weren't enough cups, and things like that. So that's, what, that's how we ended math yesterday. So to continue that, I set up a situation where they would be in a, have a similar experience, but also to experience like, wait, oh, I can see I'm holding this pair of scissors. He's holding that pair of scissors. This, you know, my friend over here doesn't have one. So that means we would need one more. Can you tell which tower has more? Yeah. The yellow one or the red one? The red, red one. How do you know? Because. Jack, go ahead. Because, because four is bigger than one. Because four is bigger than one. Can you see that this tower is actually bigger? Yeah. Yeah. When you build it, it is actually bigger. So now, Miss Kim and I have to make some sentences about it. Okay? So since I got to roll and pick the number, Miss Kim gets to make the first sentence. So what could you say about this? Four is three more than one. Ooh, four is three more than one. And guess what I can say? Well, one is three fewer than four. Are both of those things true? Yeah. Is four one, two, three more than one? Yeah. And is one one, two, three fewer than four? Yeah. You're right. So you have students who might say, oh, I know all the, I, I can add, I can multiply, I can do all these things, but really getting that conceptual understanding of like, what does five actually look like? Can you visualize it in your head? Can you tell if something is more or fewer or, uh, and, and how? So the question that you'll hear us ask a lot is, but how do you know? How many of you had more objects than people at your table for at least one thing? Oh, how could you tell that you had more? We have five pens and there's only, there's only three of us. Mm -hmm. How many more did you have? Two more. Two more, exactly. All right, Lana, did you find it a different way? So Andrew has five pens, mm -hmm. well, I have nine. Well, we have nine pens. You had nine pens at your table? Yeah. Oh my goodness, how many people were at your table? Uh, four. Four? Wow, so did you have enough pens? Yeah. Did you have more pens than people? Yeah, you sure did. The lessons follow a progression of concrete to abstract. So we always tell them we're, we're less concerned with the answer and more concerned with the process. Yeah.